Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are sharing with you what not to do on your visit to Grand Canyon National Park. All right guys, so when planning your trip to Grand Canyon National Park, one of the main things to take into account is when you're going to go for your visit. And there's definitely one time of the year that's the absolute worst time to go. Yeah, that's the summertime because it is <laughs> the most crowded, it is the hottest, and it is the most expensive. Yes. So that's three, three strikes. strikes, yep. It's and <laughs> You're, you're just going to have a better experience if you go in the fall or mm -hmm. in the spring. Mm -hmm. The winter is great too, mm -hmm. but then there's some stuff, you get into some things that are going to be closed. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the North Rim may be closed or maybe some other things closed in the winter. So that's another mistake is if you go in the winter, expect that you won't be able to see everything that you mm -hmm. might uh, want to see. Yes, you won't be able to do all of the hikes and all of the drives and, and things like that and because e of the weather. Even though it's less busy in the spring and in the fall, another mistake is not getting your your lodging in advance. Mm -hmm. it is, there's not a ton of lodging, especially if you're trying to stay up at the park and not down in Williams. In Williams, mm -hmm. there is more lodging. Oh, right. But if you want to stay up near the park, Mm -hmm. that lodging will fill up in the in the high season really mm -hmm. quickly very and, quickly and it'll just be it'll just be gone so mm -hmm. uh if you're gonna go there you definitely have to get your your lodging well mm -hmm. in advance yes and, and a lot of people make the mistake of just going to the first couple um overlooks and viewpoints that they see because they're so big and kind of spread out and they think well, this is it. I saw the Grand Canyon. I just, you know, and it's like you saw literally just like a a little <laughs> sand drop <laughs> of of the entire uh, park. There's so much more to it, and there's so much more to see than just those couple overlooks that you see when you first drive into the park. Yeah, you definitely want to drive down the road and get out at all the different viewpoints because they're not big long hikes right so most of your time is just driving from one mm -hmm. viewpoint to the next but it really isn't that far so this mm -hmm. is a park that can be covered in a short amount of time mm -hmm. but you do want to get out and experience and see everything exactly and if you do that during the day you'll be able to figure out where you want to watch the sunset mm. because that's one of the best things you can do at grand canyon is watch the sunset it is a mistake to be driving around <laughs> at sunset and not have figured out mm -hmm. during the day where you're going to kind of park it and see. Because the good sunset spots will get filled up with people too. And so Real you, you want to get there. Yeah, they'll get really crowded. And if you're trying to take pictures of the sunset or, or do a time lapse or something, it's going to be really hard to do with a lot of people moving around and walking around at, at that spot. There's a lot of very popular spots too near the near the housing mm -hmm. where it's going to be a little bit harder to have a kind of a, a private spot to to yeah. really um view the the sunset so just kind of keep that in mind same thing really applies to the sunrise as well if you're going for sunrise a lot of people do really enjoy that as well so just kind of have that picked out and kind of stake out your spot and hang out there and uh, that'll kind of reserve it for you Another one that people make is not having the right gear mm. or footwear with them. Mm -hmm. There is, at a lot of these areas, some some rock hopping or some boulder climbing. Mm -hmm. And it is not the kind of place that you want to risk falling. You don't want to show up in your flip-flops. <laughs> no, you don't want to be in your flip-flops. And you want to have good tennis shoes that you can mm -hmm. climb on, something with traction. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's not just paved overlooks. There are... Mm -hmm. A lot of places where you'll be kind of scurrying mm -hmm. down and, and, and you just need to be... Yeah, through some a little bit of hard packed dirt and things like that. You don't necessarily need to buy a bunch of hiking equipment per se, but just, you know, some, some good rubber-soled shoes, like you said, with some good traction underneath that'll help you really, um, you know, kind of be, be able to, to hold and not sl have you slipping and yeah. sliding all over the place. So that's really important as well. Yeah. And another uh, mistake that people make, and, and this is hard coming from us because we're big fans of the railways and big fans of riding the trains, but we stayed at the Grand Canyon Railway 
uh, hotel, hotel in mm-hmm. Williams, and that was a great hotel. So I do recommend staying there because it mm-hmm. had everything. You're you're close to the city, good hotel. It mm-hmm. was a decent price. It's you know it's about it's a little over an hour to mm-hmm. get up to the Grand Canyon mm-hmm. from there. So what a lot of people do is they stay at the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel, and then they don't want to drive up there, so they take the train. Mm-hmm. Up and then, which is fun. It's it a fun, fun experience, but <laughs> but I think it's a mistake if it's the only day you're going mm-hmm. because the timing of the train is not such that you're going to get to spend the best hours of the day in the park. You're going right. to actually spend the worst hours of the day. Mm-hmm. So if you have a car, I think you'd be much better off just to drive up Mm -hmm. and then you can stay for sunset stay Mm -hmm. you can kind of see if there's going to be some uh some night photography options Mm -hmm. or you could get there before sun up to see the sunrise Mm -hmm. when you go on the train you're just on their schedule right you don't really have a lot of choices yeah and their schedule isn't isn't really conducive to uh minimizing the heat minimizing the crowd and (laughs) maximizing your opportunities Mm -hmm. Uh, for photography so Mm -hmm. i feel like it's a mistake if you want to do it and just have the experience that's great but plan on going up another day otherwise there's going to be things you're missing out on right yeah definitely and you know the nice thing about staying at that particular hotel is that you know we were in williams and could experience all of kind of the fun route 66 aspect of it it is actually williams is known as the gateway to the grand canyon yeah um kind of officially really because there's a big sign and all that kind of good stuff but it, it's a good place to to kind of base out of because there's lots of other activities that you can do you could really spend a whole week in that area between the grand canyon and and those others so kind of taking those things into account as well that there's there's a lot to do around that grand canyon area yeah there's a ton of stuff to do in that area and we have a whole section on our blog at groundandlifetravel.com where we just detail everything that you mm-hmm. can do in Arizona. Mm-hmm. And we've got everything from uh, Milky Way photography to Route 66 to uh, other national parks you can see mm-hmm. in Arizona. Tons of stuff just to see there. And you don't want to shortchange your time in that area. A lot of people just run into the Grand Canyon. They're there for a day. <laughs> and then they're out the door. And they're on to see mm-hmm. the next major thing. Yeah. But in doing that, they're going to miss all the little things that that area has mm-hmm. to offer. Exactly. So just kind of, you know, plan on being in that area around the Grand Canyon for like a week and and you'll really have a very enjoyable vacation in that Grand Canyon area. So hopefully these tips will help you guys out as you're planning your trip to the Grand Canyon. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below for us in the comment section. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give us a like on this video and we hope to see you around.